Namaste everyone. Welcome back to Live Stronger. Today, we're going to work on our arms. We're going to exercise both our biceps and triceps. We're going to start off with dynamic stretching and then move on to our warm-ups and then our working sets. The routine would be pretty simple. It will be what we are doing, we have been doing regularly. Consistency will get us the results. We'll let, let's try to increase the intensity a little bit more. Let's try to stress our muscles a bit more, either by uh, repetitions or by amount of weight. The choice is yours. If you are confident, you can increase the weights. If, if the weights are a bit challenging, you can increase the number of repetitions. Any, any of the progressive uh, or the, any of the progressive overload or progression is good. So let's begin. For our dynamic stretch, I'm going to start off with the greatest stretch. Do five repetitions on each side. It's pretty simple. Get in position. We already know how to do this. Lean down, feel the stretch. Inner thighs, rotate up. Get the upper mobility going. Feel the hips open up. If you want, you can do other dynamic stretches too, which if you have learned uh, elsewhere, feel free to add them to the routine. No harm in getting two or more mobility drills in your routine. You can also do a couple of minutes or maybe even five minutes of run or cycling to feel warmth, to feel your heart beat going up, nothing more than that. You should avoid doing cardio prior to the exercise. Post exercise, it's absolutely fine. Time permits, you can do interval cardio every day post exercise just one lap strip and that's it we are done we just sit on the deep squat every day once at least so we are done with our dynamic stretching now let's move on to exercise For my first warm up, I'm going to do the three variation dumbbell curls. So basically alternative. So we do a uh, supinated grip, we do a pronated grip, and then we do a rotation. So as you can see, that's rotation. Both the arms, one at a time. So first palms facing up, alternative hand, palms facing down, each hand and then a full rotation. This is a, uh, again an excellent variation which I have learned from a great uh, YouTube content creator. So works great and I, I, I tend to use this as a warm up mostly uh, for working sets. I don't, f at least for me, I don't feel this challenges me much. I go heavier and I'm not able to complete the reps. So I, I do this for a warm up gets the blood running make sure you know the joint goes to the range of motion my elbows my wrist so they are all ready for the actual uh, working sets so i'm i was trying to get close to 10 repetitions of each arm of each variation so that's almost 30 repetitions of actual curling the dumbbell so that's for the bicep warm up Now we move on to our tricep warm up. For our tricep warm up, I just grabbed a couple of. I, I was just making sure that our bench was perfectly placed. I'm always afraid of falling on my face, but otherwise, I'm doing uh, tricep kickbacks. Light amount of weight. My focus was to keep my elbows way behind my uh, body as much as possible. So my lats, my entire back is completely tight. This creates an uh, all, uh, already a contraction on my tricep because again the tricep and our lats are connected 
so when my uh, back is completely tight my triceps are also a bit contracting then I push my elbows behind so I, I get a farther uh, contraction when I push the dumbbells away from my body good warm up I was feeling a good contraction and my elbow was going through the full range of motion so again blood rushing into the muscle making sure it's ready for the actual working sets I don't know why I keep saying actual but the, it's just the working sets again this exercise can also be done as a uh, working set you can with increasing progression of weights making it more challenging but here I'm just using it as a warm-up so that's it for warm-up now let's begin with our working sets so for our working sets I am going to do a super set of uh, easy bar dumbbell curls uh, sorry easy bar curls and uh, easy bar kind of skull crushers I am making sure here I'm, I'm a bit explosive I'm I wasn't uh, really focusing on the eccentric slowing down on the eccentric movement I wanted to be a bit explosive with the weight I was handling as you can see I also tend to bring my elbows a little bit forward to create that upper uh, or the front delt contraction which is again connected with my biceps to get a better contraction of, or the most contraction from my bicep I immediately switch after 12 repetitions of uh, barbell curls to variation of skull crushes I don't know what to call them uh, you can I can I can actually call them uh, behind my I remember uh, naming them behind my head extension tricep extensions so we take the bar way behind our head making sure our triceps are at a stretch and then from there we try to throw the bar into the air the motion which I'm trying to imagine right now is throwing the bar into the air get 12 repetitions and that's one set so we are doing super set for this exercise that's it done move on to our second set after a short break so for our second set I increased the weight I was a bit uh, confident I felt a bit stronger my arm started looking good so you know looking at uh, yourself in the mirror kind of gives you that a little bit of more confidence that you can maybe push a little bit more weight so I increase the weight I double the weight basically so you can do the same regardless of what weight you can try doubling it if it's too much reduce the weight if it's okay try to finish the number of repetitions if it's still not challenging you have the third set to increase the weight again if you notice I swing but I don't swing on my back on my lower back the swing is just a bit of momentum which is going along the bar but I keep the weight under my control at all times switch immediately to the uh, behind the head tricep extension barbell tricep extensions call it what you <laughs> would really like to call it but it's simple the exercise is very simple take the bar behind your head and imagine throwing the bar into the air never get the bar in line with your eyes you shouldn't be able to see the bar clearly you would just be getting a glimpse of it once at its, uh, it's at the top position so that's one cue your triceps are at your stretch it's a good explosive 12 repetitions for my third set I have changed the camera angle a little bit so you can see my biceps contracting getting the maximum contraction as I bring my elbows a little bit forward to my body the weight is same I'm making sure that I get the maximum amount of contraction trying to control the weight as much as possible easy bar using easy bar really helps I'm almost done here I was exhausted by now my biceps were full of blood I was hitting near failure and I quickly switch the camera get into the tricep and I speed it up for you to not waste time there don't get me switch the camera but yeah there we go set for our behind our head barbell tricep extensions and that's it simple 
throw the bar into the air don't let it come inside you can always use a help uh, in terms of spotting if you feel a bit uh, nervous while keeping the bar behind your head but otherwise it's absolutely safe now for our second exercise i am going to do the variation of preacher curl using an inclined bench setup and as you can see we have done this exercise previously i keep my body a bit in an open stance wherein i move my chest away from my bicep so it's at a stretch and then i start doing the preacher curls the focus is always on the contractions here try to slow down a little bit on my uh, eccentric movement which is going down but otherwise complete focus on the contractions getting peak contractions again on the other hand same thing i don't like standing beside my hand so i open my chest up feel that stretch on my shoulder and my chest and then start my preacher curls simple exercise so what i'm going to do for my next exercise is here we can take a short break 30 to 40 seconds of break and then i move on to a tricep variation so it's like a superset but with a short break so for my tricep here i'm doing single hand uh cable push downs i'm using a hook attachment as you can see when i use the hook attachment my palms can go all the way down so i'm getting a maximum uh, contraction on my tricep remember the focus of this exercise is pushing your uh, hand your wrist completely down straight that's where you get the maximum amount of tricep contraction when the first time i placed the camera i couldn't get uh, the right angle but i assure you in my second set you can see both of my arms going through the range of motion properly this is one of those things which you realize after recording a video or once you start watching the video on your laptop so we take a short break and then we switch back to the preacher curls again same 12 repetition target always open your stance keep your chest away from your bicep and then start curling the incline of the bench should be comfortable it should not be too low not too high it should be at a, com a comfortable stance try to uh, if you have a preacher uh, curl uh, setup use that more helpful uh, less amount of work but if you don't you can use an inclined bench if you don't have an inclined bench i really don't know the alternative but you can do regular alternative curls always so trying to get the maximum amount of contraction while keeping my chest away from my bicep keep repeating that because the, i like to do it that way and i feel it and i get better contractions now we take a short break and then move to again our tricep uh rope push downs or cable push downs single hand tricep cable push down as you can see uh at this angle how my tricep is contracting or getting the maximum amount of contraction at each and every rep when my arm goes absolutely straight remember the job of your tricep is to get your arm straight so the straighter and cleaner your arm uh, the straighter you can get your arm with even your wrist straight the better the contraction you get on your tricep as we progress slowly slowly you would also start uh, uh, you will also be able to start seeing your muscles move to the exercise as we start dropping a little bit of body fat and the muscle starts developing you will be able to see the muscle and that will also give a positive feedback in the, while doing the exercise again go back to our preacher curls and the i hope in this angle it makes my stance a little bit more clear how i'm in line with my hand 
how my chest is away from my bicep again all all the three sets i have targeted to do 12 repetitions on the third set here i have increased the weight so and the final repetitions i was really struggling to get the weight up but i was able to do it so next time when i do it i'll definitely challenge myself by lifting a little bit heavier so for my second arm same thing same weight if you are unable to uh, increase the weight that's absolutely fine stick to the weight where, uh, which you have been doing but make sure the weight mm. is challenging always make sure the weight is challenging enough for 10 to 12 repetitions take a short break and then we switch immediately to our single arm cable push downs again i like to use the hook grip because that keeps my wrist at a comfortable position and i can go absolutely straight down no uh, extra pressure or stress on my wrist joint you can see how the tricep is moving up basically contracting as your hand gets straighter and as your hand starts con uh, you know curling up your bicep contracts and your tricep relaxes the more you understand the range of motion of a uh, muscle the more easier it becomes to train it that's it this is our last exercise for our arms or technically the bicep and tricep we are going to finish off with dead hangs yes we have just trained our arms absolutely heavy full of blood arms if you have trained them like i did with the intensity of uh, with the intensity which i did your arms must be by now feeling extremely heavy uh, heavy with blood of course and you must be getting a good pump as you can see my arm so completely pumped up with blood and now to do a dead hang would be quite challenging but we will do it remember our target is to do 100 seconds every day so we'll keep at it i always try to focus my strength on my forearms my forearms are absolutely tired at this point of time with all that bicep work which i have done they were throbbing but i decided to do my dead hang and i i want you guys also to join me in doing this one one space where a minute feels like an eternity that's it and i lost my grip i was tired calluses were hurting so to finish off we are going to do our static stretches for the bicep and the tricep first i'm going to do bicep one arm at a time simple place your arm on a support like i did i have just put my arm on a bench and i turned away from it remember your bicep originates from your shoulder at your shoulder joint um, for now let's use that uh, let's not get into further details but Uh, your bicep basically originates at your shoulder joint and inserts at your elbow so i'm keeping my elbow straight my arm placed and steady and i'm moving my shoulder away from the bicep so that's basically stretching the muscle you can see from this angle how my triceps are completely contracted that means my bicep is getting the maximum amount of stretch possible and a bit of exaggeration because now i'm uh, moving my shoulder away from my bicep as i turn the other side while keeping my hand straight and fixed on the bench once you understand the biomechanics of the uh, human anatomy it becomes absolutely easy to understand how to stretch how to exercise a particular muscle and I'll, i just my forearms were a bit tired i just massage them with my hands to release some tension you can do this stretch a couple of times if you feel it still a bit of tightness now i immediately switch the bench down for my tricep stretch for my tricep stretch i like to do the stretch which also stretches your lat it works quite well so we immediately switch into this simply place your elbows on a bench 
and let your head fall in between your hands and slowly push yourself back creating an, that imaginary pull from behind now this causes your lats and your triceps to start stretching and hold there for 15 to 20 seconds you should you should you will you will definitely feel a stretch in both on your lats and your triceps so that's absolutely fine this exercise does that and that's it we're done with the stretch and that's a wrap for today thank you for joining me hope you had an amazing arms workout my arms are completely full of blood they have good uh, they had a good pump uh, two exercises more than uh, more than enough with high intensity and we got our work done for our triceps and biceps if you did like the video please drop a like uh, if you have any kind of feedback i would really appreciate your comments and if you haven't yet subscribed 50 to 60 percent of my viewers aren't so that's what the uh, youtube uh, analytics tell me so please do subscribe that that keeps pushing me forward and once again thank you for joining me you have a good evening